Now I'm going to give you an exercise and the exercise is to write a program that we've already seen but without looking back at that program. So this is what the program does. The exercise is to write a program that asks the user to enter a password and it compares that password to a hard-coded password. In other words, you're going to write the correct password directly in your Python program. If the password that the user entered matches the correct password, the program prints greetings Professor Falcon and it exits. If the password is entered incorrectly, the program prints access denied and then it asks for the password again. But it will only ask for the password again a total of, well, two more times. So it will ask for the password a maximum of three times if the user keeps entering it incorrectly. And after that, if they've not entered it correctly, it will just exit without printing anything further other than access denied. So have a go at that. And remember, one of the most important principles of software development is that we don't repeat code unnecessarily. So you don't want to have three inputs in there asking for the password. That might not be a terrible starting point, but you don't want that in your final program. You need to use a loop in here. There are multiple possible ways to write this program. And if you can get it to work without code duplication in your program, then you've succeeded at the exercise. And if you can't, it's okay, because the important thing is trying. And I'm not just saying that. Really, the important thing at this stage is you have to start trying to write programs, because that's what will ultimately make you good at computer programming. And we'll look at a possible solution in the next video. Hello, you've been watching a free sample from my Python and Machine Learning for Complete Beginners course. I'm uploading enough videos from the start of the course to get you started with Python and machine learning. The full course is absolutely massive. If you're interested in it, please click the link in the description. The complete course covers not only basic Python, but also some fairly advanced Python, even some desktop programming stuff, and then goes on to machine learning and artificial intelligence. Until next time, happy coding.